Hello, and welcome to this edition of Ask Dogfish. So first question comes in from Michael Balderson. With our original brew pub in Rehoboth shutting its doors this week, because we're opening our new brew pub next door to there in downtown Rehoboth on the same little plot of land, uh, what are some of my fondest memories from the old brew pub? I'd have to say a combination of beer dinners with so many regulars that have come to our beer dinners through the years and I think of our staff and how many hours and the amount of creativity and preparation that went into those beer dinners. Uh, those are some favorite memories. I'd say coming up with original recipes in that room. That room is where you know 99% of what you see from Dogfish and our beers and spirits originated over the last 22 years. From the first time we brewed chicory stout, you know, the week that we opened in '95, an early uh, coffee and chicory stout. Uh, the first fruit infused IPA, Aprahop, we brewed there the, the year after that. Beers like Namaste that originated in that building, Palo Santo with the chunks of the wood. So that'd be another favorite of mine. And then lastly, I'd just say amazing national recording acts that have graced our stage that I got to witness from the Strokes when Juliana Casablanca uh, and his group destroyed our speakers because they played too loud. Uh, to Jonathan Richmond, the sort of proto-punk uh, dude, Juliana Barwick, Built to Spill. So yeah, the, the, the music, the food, and the original beers that came out of that uh, building will always be with us. So next question is from Miguel Gonzalez. What are our plans for our spirits world? With us, everything's done from scratch, from the original uh, ingredients in this building in Milton, Delaware. So we basically, all of our spirits start as beer. They go through the same world-class brewing equipment that 60 Minute IPA and Sequench Ale go through. The difference is we make a special recipe of grains uh, specifically for what we're trying to do, whether it's our vodka, our, our, our gins, uh, or our whiskeys. Uh, the, the question also referenced our, our whiskeys, and yes, we have started to lay down some barrels of some pretty off-centered, exotic uh, whiskeys, rum barrel aged whiskeys and single malts, and those will start coming to light here in the coming years from Dogfish. Right now, anyone that ventures to downtown Rehoboth can be the beta testers of our whiskeys. We're doing little flights of our whiskeys as they're developing only available within the walls of Chesapeake and Maine, our geographically enamored seafood restaurant. So yes, we're excited to make all of our spirits from scratch. scratch come and try them uh, in Rehoboth. Next question comes in from Stacy Reese, and it's a, a great one. Question is, Dogfish Head has beer to drink music to, and we've done that for years as the official beer of Record Store Day. Um, but what about uh, beer to read books to, is her question. It's a great one, because I'm uh, a, a voracious reader, as are so many of my coworkers. My wife Mariah's in a uh, drinking group with a reading problem. Uh, and so reading's important in our house. It is fundamental. And uh, I'd say probably my favorite pairing, and I do this one every year, is in the summer I try to always reread Movable Feast, which is uh, late spring, early summer, because it's kind of the, the coming to age uh, story of Hemingway as a young man living in Paris and hanging out with Gertrude Stein and taking uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald around to look at the groinal area on um, certain uh, statues, important part of Movable Feast. But I think 90 Minute goes beautiful with that book. When you're sitting there reading, you don't want, uh, I don't think you want a super low ABV beer because you don't want to have to get up in the middle of your reading session, go back to the fridge. You want a sipper in a snifter or a red wine glass, 90 minutes available all day long. 90 minutes is about a great average uh, sitting and reading and drinking session. Um, recommendation for Penguin Publishing. Do your Penguin Classics where it's on thicker paper and only do the writing on one half so that every time you flip it, your book is also a coaster. So that while you're reading, there's always someplace safe to put your beer. That was this issue of Ask Dogfish. Thank you guys. Keep the questions coming. Cheers. Mm -hmm.